thanks. A little longer and I would have been dinner. Are you wearing a, a Santa Claus hat? You guys look like you know how to fight. Just don't let your guard down like I did. Bum, bum. Lilium Orb. I usually like to wait until I get a handful of uh, points to use. We're never going to use auto level. It takes all the fun out of the Lilium Orb. I usually wait until I get a chunk of GP before doing this, but I do want to try and get some new arts pretty quick. Splash. Splash is definitely one we want. Rock Trine we also want. So let's go this way. Because we also need to get up here anyway, which is going to give us Flame Ring, which can also give us Flare Bomb. Flare Bomb is what we already get off of Fireball as well, isn't it? I think it is, but we want to go this way. Because we want to get our hands on Splash. I need it. Do do. Steel. Also, the SP nodes are super worthwhile because they let us get more skills, which we definitely want. I also want to try and unlock a lot of arts on the other guys, too, because the more arts they have, the more likely they can link an art with Mila. Check this out. Going specifically out of my way to get Jude more arts. That'll give him Cerberus Strike. Or no, that was Swallow Dance. This one is Cerberus Strike. Nice. I'm a gamer. Jude's main stat is Agility, so that's what we mostly want to focus him on. And then we went ahead and got him some extra SP, which is good. Alvin just starts with a bunch of stuff unlocked, which is nice. And he has another art right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this to give him this other art. I believe Alvin's stat of choice is Strength. If I remember correctly. And then the other three parameters relate to three other characters. Mine. Yeah, six spider webs. Man, the shops are gonna love me. Now, where the heck am I gonna get a porridge? That's the real question. And then I have to figure out how to make soda rice or something for that one guy. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. I bet you there's a porridge around here somewhere. It's been a while since I played Zillia. I don't know, like, this porridge that we need, I don't know if it's gonna, like, just be a random drop from either, like, a collectible area, like that shiny light there, or from an enemy even, or if it's actually gonna be, like, on a chest somewhere or something. But I didn't see anything of note, so we're just gonna move on. Bum, 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 bum. Excuse me, Mr. Scorpion, you wouldn't happen to have a porridge, would you? Or soda rice? Either or? Okay, yeah, Flare Bomb is already the default tap move we have. And then I got Splash, didn't I? Didn't I get it? Or did I not get to it yet? It didn't get to it yet. Jude's the one who got all of his new arts. I didn't yet. Goodbye. Okay. Final Gale! I love that both characters shout the attack move together. Yo, getting a little low on, uh... I was gonna say getting a little low on TP, and then Jude used an orange gel, which reminds me that I need to turn off his ability to do that. How are you still alive? I Final gale you. You should be dead. Good job, Jude. Good job. How's it going, Alvin? I see you're charging up your giant Claymore sword. That's pretty pog of you. The likes of you will not stop me. More spider webs. What uh, what what she called Muffet from uh, Undertale is gonna be so happy when we help upgrade her shop with all these spider webs. Skills. Let's look at skills real quick. You can use SP to set skills you have learned. Skills are divided into three categories based on effects, parameter, action, and support. Stronger skills require more SP. Feel free to set them any way you like. Skills marked with this will affect link partners as well. Set the right skills and they will have dramatic effects when characters are linked. Very good. We may as well turn this on for now, even though I don't think level restore is that good. Stuff like stamina is really good because you just get a buff, like a percentage buff to your overall stats. Uh, strategy? Auto items, that's what I'm looking for. During combat, characters who are set to auto control mode will use items when certain conditions are met. Higher priority items will be used, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm just going to, at least for now, I'm just going to turn these off. We might actually mess with set items later in the game, but for now, I just want them off. 
<laughs> yeah, Jude, we don't use resources around here. This is a JRPG. We hoard all of our items until the final boss. And even then, we might still hoard them for the post game. And at that point, we might get to the final boss of the post game and then realize, oh, I never used any of the items. My man's got to get his priorities straight. It's like he's never played a JRPG before. Do, do, do. I want to figure out where I'm supposed to get this porridge. I assume the porridge is over this way somewhere, and then I have to double back to a lot of Sea Haven. My life bottle. If I were a porridge. First of all, what the heck would I be? Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I still don't really know what a porringe is. And second of all, where would I be? Oh, wait a minute. God, no, I didn't want to fight you. I wanted to look at whatever was on that tree. The, wait a minute, these are goblins? This is what the Tales of Zillia universe thinks a goblin is? Yo, these fools need to watch Goblin Slayer. They have no idea what they're talking about. Goblin Slayer got a season two recently, didn't it? I need to watch that. Now that the holidays are over and all, and I got a lot of other work done, I still have some other stuff I need to get finished and underway, but uh, I have a bit more free time going into January. Now I can catch up on some anime and whatnot. Wrecked. Yo, what's up, Alvin? You having a good time over here, buddy? Everything going all right? You have big hands. Interesting. No wonder you pack quite a punch. I, um, thanks. <laughs> okay, Google. What to do when the... I'm a neophyte now of spirit shifting. Okay, Google. What to do when the girl you have a crush on compliments you on having big hands? Is probably what Jude is thinking right now. Bum. Bum. If you don't have 30 stat point boost items sitting in your inventory at all times, are you even playing a JRPG? I think not. I just finished watching Fryrin Beyond Journey's Inn. It was enjoyable. I have not heard of that before. What's it about? Give me, give me a sales pitch on it. I might be looking to binge some, uh, some new anime in the coming months. You rescued her. Thank you. You're welcome. I got a sheath dagger. Hey, any of you, none of you are like the basic item shop. Basic item shop is over here. Hey, you got like soda rice over here? Or a porridge for that matter? It's the anime of the elven girl that doesn't age while everyone around her grows old. Oh, I think I have heard of that before. It's, so it's like set in a fantasy setting, but then there's like a, so it's like this group, like your typical JRPG group, like save the day or whatever, but then the one person is like, has a super long, the elf girl has a super long lifetime or lifespan, but all of her friends like grow old or die or whatever. I think I had heard of that before. You know, I might check that out. That could be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and buy us three more life bottles and a couple of orange gels in case things go south. And then, you know, do I have any minerals? I do. Let's get this bad boy to level two. There are times, I don't remember what causes it or when it can happen, but there are times that you'll get a, uh, the bonus will be times three instead of times two. So I don't want to use too many of our materials right now because it's better to wait for those moments. It's good, I haven't finished it. Waiting for core two in January. Oh, so it's still ongoing right now, and its season was broken into two cowers. However you pronounce that word. I think you pronounce it cower. Eating pre-made dishes grants special effects like HP recovery or experience boost for a set number of battles. You can buy dishes at shops, yada yada. Yep, we definitely want to make it. Here we go. Soda rice. That's what that dude needed. Increases experience gain by 30% for four fights. That's pretty good. Yo, give, give, me, a, give me a soda rice. It looks like you can only buy one at a time. Not you. Who, you over here, you need the soda rice. Hello. I will give him the small soda rice. Huh, so this is soda rice. 
I see, they use miso as a secret ingredient to balance the soda and rice flavors. Thanks, now I'll be able to grow and improve as a chef. Yeah, you're welcome, punk. Bushy eyebrows. So most of the things we're acquiring that that have the little like glass glasses symbol, like the bushy eyebrows and the sheet dagger, is you can put uh, outfit additions, like little attachments onto your character to change the character model. I don't normally like to do that in my playthroughs because I like the characters just looking like their default styles, mostly. But uh, it's a really neat thing that most Tales of games do. Bum, bum. Bushy eyebrows, they put the master of Taijutsu. Yo, guys, Sensei! Could we get a dynamic entry over here on this guy? I am going to consume... What the heck is this? Oh, I have Alvin's Kratos costume. Oh, I remember this back when I very first played this game. I had like, uh, I had like five bucks sitting on like my PlayStation account for some reason. I don't remember what it was, but I like bought the DLC of Alvin's Kratos outfit. And then there was like a $2, like, hey, here's a bunch of money and level ups. And I had like three or five bucks left on my uh, Sony account at the time when I was playing this. So I bought it to skip grinding for a, for a boss fight. Uh, we're not gonna use that in this playthrough because I'm like, I'm way beyond needing stuff like that. But uh, that's funny. That's funny that it's still there. I'm amazed that like it like kept that memorized in my account. I mean, it, it makes sense. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I'm just, I'm shocked. Where is the food? There it is. It's in di the thing that says dishes, chaos, you moron. I will eat the small soda rice. Thank you. And I will save the game. Bum, bum. Waiting for the bunny ear attachment. Mm, yes, yeah, which side quest must I do to get the maid outfits? Very Japan. Give me a cosmetic DLC that just lets me get the characters and outfits from like my favorite anime. I want to see I want to see Jude wearing Sasuke's outfit from the end of Shippuden. Um Let's get Alvin. I want Alvin to be rocking Sinbad's look from Magi. That would be pretty pog. And then what who else? Who else? Wait a minute, I have to kill these goblins and wolves. None of you will survive. Go away. I said go away. Get out of here. Someone has to wear like a high Q outfit. Jude, Jude can wear Alba Josai's uniform. He can wear Oikawa's, uh, Oikawa's outfit instead. Please die. Die faster though. Thank you, goodbye. I said goodbye. I mistimed that horribly. I don't want to talk about it. God, it took too long. Do 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 do. Nice. Well, chat, if I ever want to have Alvin wear Kratos from Symphonia's outfit in this playthrough, there's nothing stopping us. <laughs> Although, I'm going to be honest, Alvin has the better look. He's got the better drip. Bum, 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 bum. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. This is my sack. I call dibs on it. And then I want that over there. Jude could pull off Luffy's outfit. No, let's have Rowan, when we get him, have him dress up as, uh, who's the guy that smokes? Sanji? Give him Sanji's drip. And then, I've been watching Spy X Family with Jet recently. Let's, let's give Mila your, uh, uh, yours outfit. Cause yours, like, Thorn Princess dress, iconic. 
And then, I don't know, I gotta think of like a, a small child that I might actually like from an anime that Elise can get a, an outfit from. And then someone for Leia. Oh, did we make it to the town already? Oh, that was quick. Wow, that's an impressive amount of fruit. Do you think any of those fruit might be oranges? <laughs> I'm catching a whiff of cider. Oh, they must have orchards here. Wait a minute, new idea. Rowan wears Mustang's outfit from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Get him dripped out in the military wear. No, wait a minute. I think Gaius and Mustang have the same voice actor, right? I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but they have the same voice actor, so get Gaius in Mustang's drip. Now we're talking. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors here. Do you live here, ma'am? I would hope so. I'm the mayor. Is this the right road to Niakara? Niakara? Now that's a name I haven't heard in ages. What do you mean? It's what people called a long-forgotten village. I don't even know if it still exists. I heard tales of the village as a child. People claimed it lies beyond the Kijara Sea Falls. Where can we find it? You'll need what? to cross some seriously rugged terrain to get there. Where can we find the village rumored to be beyond the Kajara Sea Falls? I don't know, Jude. Maybe beyond the Kajara Sea Falls, if I had to guess? It won't be an easy journey. In that case, we should probably rest here before heading on. Agreed. I'm afraid our little village doesn't have an inn. Not much call for one. But I've an extra room in my house. You're welcome to use it if you like. Thank you for your hospitality, ma'am. <laughs> Did you look at those JPEG grapes, dude? Oh, man, this sure is a PS3 game. There are other Tales of games that are probably more deserving of, like, a full-on remake from the ground up. Just because of, like, them being older and whatnot. Abyss immediately comes to mind. But hear me out. Just remake Zillia from the ground up because it's my favorite. All right, let's rob these people of their porringes. I'm pretty sure we only need to find one, but I'm stealing all of them. Also, I think right down here is the first Eifried treasure. Check it out. Suddenly, we're looking down on the world. Yeah, we really have come a long way. Time flies, dude. We've only been live for like two hours. So why bother taking human form at all? Spirits are really just masses of mana. They can't interact with the temporal world in that state. For a spirit to take physical form, it needs a catalyst of a corresponding element. As an example, the fire spirit of Freak can take form as a blazing inferno. And as Maxwell, you can be any element, right? The human body contains all four elements, so it's the perfect catalyst for me to take a physical form. What would happen if you lost your catalyst? I would gather elements to make a new one, but I'd have to wait for it to grow up. Grow up? You mean you start as a baby? It's time consuming, but if you want to use a human form as a catalyst, you have to wait for the body to develop. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Mila had to start as like an actual baby. So even the Lord of Spirits isn't omnipotent. Not in this human realm anyway. Let's just be grateful she didn't go with the male model, eh? Wouldn't bother me. Oh, you swing both ways? That's not what I meant. 